Detecting and repairing gas leaks is extremely important. You should always follow proper safety and service procedures when working on any CNG system. Failure to do so may result in damage or personal injury. Let's take a few minutes and walk through the key steps in this process. First, and this should be obvious, never use an open flame to search for a gas leak and do not smoke during any part of this process. Keep all possible ignition sources, such as welding equipment and grinders, away from the system and fueling area. CNG systems should only be serviced in well-ventilated areas. Your shop crew should always be aware of potential hazardous conditions, so inform others in the shop when servicing CNG equipment. And remember, a fitting under pressure should never be tightened, loosened, or checked for tightness because a fitting that fails under pressure can be extremely dangerous. If you suspect a leak or smell gas, check all of the fittings and connections using certified leak detection equipment. Most leaks will be found at a connection. Start by using a leak detector, a sniffer. Next, use a solution to look for bubbling or foaming at the point of the leak. Always give it at least 10 minutes since not all leaks will be apparent right away. After a few minutes, even a tiny leak may appear as foam and not bubbles. Examine for frost or ice around tubing or connectors. Frost is an indication of a loose fitting. And finally, check for signs of damage to tubing. Remember, before fixing a leak at a connection, depressurize the system completely as described in segment seven. Tighten a leaking tube fitting by using the proper backup wrench to support the body of the fitting. And then use a second wrench to snug up the tube fitting nut. If a leak cannot be fixed, the component or the tubing must be replaced. When attaching new tubing for the first time, finger tighten the nut and then tighten another half turn with a proper sized wrench. After repressurizing, always retest the repaired parts. By following these important guidelines, you help to ensure your safety and the safety of others.